And so the idea is to do this big loop around uh, the Chesapeake Bay and the Eastern Shore, and I think it's about 700 miles. And uh, there's a lot of new roads and bridges and tunnels and ferries and you know stuff I've never seen. So I'm excited. I've got this route that takes me down. We started here, and now we're here, and now we're gonna go up to here and camp and cross over, and then we'll do some poorly do's and come down. So I'm excited about the upgrade that I've made for this trip. I've installed kind of a temporary 12 volt uh, DC outlet on my bike and that'll allow me to charge my cell phone and my HD video camera and my GPS. And then I just got a, a GPS RAM mount for my bike so I don't have to keep pulling it out of my tank bag. It's going to be super important. This will actually be my first solo motorcycle adventure multi-day thing. Uh, a few weeks ago I did a trip through Skyline Drive and up around, it was I think about 600 miles and um, and yeah it was awesome because Brian came down from upstate New York and camped with me and totally made the experience awesome. So I'm looking forward to doing it again and I learned a whole bunch of stuff about you know, uh, you know testing the camping gear and what to bring and what not to bring. Like this, my uh, MEC Toque or a beanie if you will. Pick this up in Canada. A place called Mountain Equipment Co-op. It's super warm. So you have to uh, to be a member to buy from there. It's a co-op so I think that means that I have like a share or something at this uh, Canadian company. I know what that means for my uh, American taxes. And of course before I go I've got to do all that you know, standard bike maintenance thing, make sure it's in tip-top shape. So I've been, you know, waxing and cleaning the chain, checking tire pressure, oil, all that good stuff. You know, it's going to be a lot of roads and bridges and tunnels and stuff I have never seen before across four states. So um, I'm probably going to have trouble sleeping like a kid the day before he goes to Disneyland or something. But we'll see. Day one began in my own backyard and I figured that since this trip was so much about these bridges and these ferries and so much of the waterway of Chesapeake Bay, might as well just take the James River uh, ferry, you know, the Jamestown Scotland ferry. Well here it is, the very first leg of the trip and I just missed the ferry. I got here at 9.02. I just wait for the next one. This reminds me of the last Hack 5 set. We had one of those on our wall. It didn't blink. It really gets me thinking though, like, is that just a regular party bulb? <sighs> Morning. Mmm, delicious. Breakfast on a boat. Went over into Smithfield where they do all like, you know, the Smithfield ham and it had an aroma but it wasn't quite bacon or ham but it was definitely meat. I drove by the sign and I was just kind of shocked. It was uh, Route 666 and then the very next sign was for the meat packing plant so I had to go and check it out. Hmm, delicious, delicious Smithfield ham. Hey guys. The swine flu here, right? Sadly, the Smithfield ham plant does not smell like bacon. It has a smell, but it's not bacon. And then back across the James River over the James River Bridge. So the one thing that's kind of disconcerting about uh, these bridges here with like the drawbridge sections is that they usually have this steel grid deck that's just kind of disconcerting to ride over because oh there it goes oh that's the stuff oh boy <laughs> so your front wheel just tends to slip around on those and it just wants to do what it wants to do and then I took the Hampton Roads bridge tunnel which sure it's on the interstate but it was pretty much the only feasible way to get where I needed to go as I approached the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel, it really started to feel like an adventure. Uh, so far, I had mostly been on roads that I knew or knew of, and this was the first big new experience. 
Oh, here it comes. I'm so excited. Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. Woohoo! 24 miles of bridge. Awesome action! Ah, oh, this is going to be so much fun. I can't wait to see all the water, the Atlantic, and the Chesapeake. Easy pass. Ooh. Wait. I don't have an easy pass. Toll Plaza. Crap, $12. What the fuck? This costs money? Shit. Hey there. Do I get a discount for riding a motorcycle? Do I get a discount for being awesome? Thank you. Have a nice day. Okay, well, you know, $12 for like 24 miles. That's only like 50 cents a mile for fun, you know? Goodbye, beach. <laughs> Hello. Look, it's the bay. It's my bike. It's the ocean. So here we are, Josette and I made it down to the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. I'm at the first stop here and I had no idea what a project it was. Uh, just learned that it's like a $500 million set of bridges and tunnels and I'm just here at the first point uh, getting a feel for things and it's huge and it's exciting and the roads are in great condition and that guy's not gonna run over my bike and I'm gonna see if I can find a uh, kind of gift for snubs because there's like gift shops and fishing piers and and restaurants and all sorts of stuff. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I know what you're thinking. Should I get her the jewelry box or the shot glass or the fireworks? Hmm. So many choices. Oh. Illegal to use fireworks on bridge tunnel property. I guess we'll go with the shot glass then. And then the rest of the Bay Bridge was pretty easy going and at the end of it there was this really cool wildlife preserve so I decided to pull over and give Monkey a little geography lesson. So based on my extensive research I've, I've learned that the Chesapeake Bay is the largest estuary in North America and its watershed covers 64,000 miles and it's home to like 17 million people and like 32,000 species. I just don't pay any attention. Monkey, are you, are you listening? Monkey, come on. Eyes over here, monkey. The rest of the Eastern Shore was pretty much just farms. It was very nice going roads. It, the miles just flew by and I really enjoyed it then. I was just totally at ease. And as I crossed into the Maryland border, I realized that this was actually the first time Josette and I had like ridden out of state. I mean, 8,000 miles this summer and I pretty much haven't left Virginia. I mean, sure, I picked her up in North Carolina, but she was on the back of a truck like a Harley going to a rally. So throughout Maryland, I kept on seeing these arrows marked on the pavement and it got me really excited because I just started, you know, thinking back to my F-Zero days in my youth and I kept on riding over them hoping to get like a little energy boost. And then I stopped in Ocean City, Maryland. Ocean City, Maryland. What's there to say? It's aptly named. I just continued up the coast and then, you know, went over a bridge and next thing you knew I was in Delaware. I'd, I didn't even notice. I would have stopped and taken a picture. It was just, oh, there's a Delaware cop. I guess I'm in Delaware. And next thing you know, I'm at the campsite, which was great because it was starting to get a little dusk. And after only 250 some odd miles, here we are, Henlopen State Park, the campground for the night. And some crazy funky tower dealy. Hello, people. Hi, kids. My bike's faster. You want to race? I didn't think so. So this is the end of day one, and yeah, I'm just gonna do this in the morning. 